welcome to the service of thanksgiving, it is good at all times and in all places to give thanks, but especially on this Sunday. Um, we thank you for being here. We ask you to rise right now and join in our service. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 
From these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Glory to God. Have mercy upon us and pray for peace and
Please remain seated for the word. Chapter 2, beginning at the 21st verse. Do not fear, O soil, we get, be get glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals of the field, for the pastors of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit, the fig tree and vine to their full yield. O children of Zion, be glad, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the later rain, as before. The threshing floor shall be full of grain, the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent against you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is no other. And my people shall never again be put to shame. Here endeth the lesson.
epistle was taken from Paul's first letter to Timothy, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope. To Timothy, my loyal child in the faith. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I urge you, as I did when I was on my way to Macedonia, to remain in Ephesus, so that you may instruct certain people not to teach any different doctrine, and not to occupy themselves with myths and endless genealogy that promotes speculation rather than the divine training that is known by faith. But the aim of such instruction is love that comes from a pure heart, a good conscience, and a sincere faith. Some people have deviated from these and turned to meaningless talk, desiring to be teachers of the law without understanding either what they are saying or the things about which they make assertions. Here end of the epistle. Rise and sing together the gradual hymn. Yeah. God 
and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The Gospel of Christ. Praise Let us confess our faith together. I believe in one God, 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 Children of all ages are invited to come forward. This is an all ages uh, sermon, I guess. And I have show and tell. So if you want to see uh, Snedden's drivers, anybody else uh, is welcome to come forward. There's lots of them up front. Please have a seat. to the choir today, just a little bit of preaching from the choir. Uh, and so a prayer. Lord, may the words of my mouth and may the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. So, feel free to speak up, to interact a little bit. Beatrice has already helped me with some props. They're very small. They are Lego people uh, for the, um, here, you can see we have one who's a snow adventurer, and we'll start with him. And Beatrice, will you hold the other one for me? The other is a hiker. These are two true stories of adventures, and I want to start with these stories by sending these little Lego people on adventures. Um, in my family, there's kind of a famous YouTube video about cheese doodles. Uh, and so we're going to act out the cheese doodles with uh, Lego, Norwegian Lego South Pole Adventurer. If this is uh, east, we have to go south, I think, all the way to the South Pole. There's a, yeah. All right. Lego Adventurer has gone all the way south to the South Pole and come back. And on day 86, finds a stash somewhere here, let's say finds a stash of, I'm describing a YouTube video too. He finds a stash, but he's got this little camera and he's showing himself a stash of supplies that he left for himself, a mark with a flag. 
Okay, so he's come back, he's digging out of the snow and saying, in Norwegian, what will I find? You, know, you can only tell by the subtitles. What will I find? Oh, so I, and he finds his, his box, zinc, ointment, uh, another pump, uh, some other supplies, a strap, and then all of a sudden, ha! He laughs, cheese doodles. He holds it up, cheese doodles. And he begins, I mean, I have a picture. I have a picture. Hold this one. Alright, this translates pretty well. You can see little Lego, uh, Lego Man is the real man, and it translates pretty well. Ha 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 ha! Okay, holding up a bag of snacks uh, that he found alive on day 86 of a South Pole expedition, would somebody say, cheese doodles, a double pack of cheese doodles, and then fall in the snow in laughter. Why? The video ends with him, you know, throwing himself back in the snow. There's nobody around. He holds the camera up. He's in the South Pole. There's nobody there. Hallelujah, cheese doodles, why? Any ideas? I mean, it's just sheer joy. Beatrice, why? Because he's hungry. But he has food. He's hungry for cheese doodles. He's hungry for cheese doodles. All right, that's story one. Uh, there's just sheer joy at the discovery of, I mean, I suppose almost three months into a, a polar expedition. Cheese doodles are great. Uh, this other story is about my dad, who, uh, what was he? He was 60 years old, and things fell apart, and so he went on a walk. A very long walk. He walked from Mexico to Canada, <laughs> to the Crest Trail. And he was, in, um, he was in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And when you do this, I'm just illustrating with a little hiking event. You go to the bottom, you go on the crest, so you go all the way up, and all the way up. And then, and it's terrible. There's, in the section that he was in, there's like 47,000 vertical feet of climbing all the way down and back up. And he was trying to get to, let's say, the Royal Peak down and up and right about here. He turned it down. It wasn't really bad, but he decided he would take the day off. So he stayed right here and he ate the rest of his food. <laughs> and then he went down and he knew he knew that this is a pure path in the Sierra Nevadas. He went down, and then he had to climb back up and right back here. He was wishing he hadn't eaten all of that. Okay? He knew he could get out to get a resupply. Uh, his head was down. He's in a huge mountain range. Here's what it looks like, man. And he finds in the ground this. What is this? Can you tell what this is? Do you know what it is? It's a candy wrapper. He's in the part where tourists come, thankfully, a little bit, really hardy tourists. And he finds one of these, a cliff bar. That's it, like 250 calories. Hallelujah! I asked my dad this week, were you like the cheese doodles guy? And he said, no, I don't think so. I just said, ha! Right? He said, but I took a picture, he said. Here's a picture of the, uh, of the upside down wrapper, brown as the dirt. Here's a picture of him holding it, a cliff bar. He thought it was an apple, but it was an oatmeal raisin walnut, apparently. <laughs> and then he sent me one more picture of the sunset. Hallelujah! Right? All right. What are these stories about? Here's a cliff bar, right? I mean, these are days when you're burning 6,000 calories a day. But just this little bite, hallelujah. So I want to think a little bit about the gospel stories, two many pages now, just very briefly. Asher read for us of Joel 2. There's some really astonishing things where the prophet says, do not be afraid, dirt, soil, Rejoice and be glad. Don't fear animals in the field, 
the trees are bearing their fruit. And children of Zion, be glad, rejoice, because you've suffered, but you are being fed. What was the phrase? You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I, the Lord, am your God. There's no other God. There are, I mean, basically I want to ask this question. How do we learn to say hallelujah? Like Norwegian cheese noodles guy. Like a hiker on a long hike finding a cliff bar that just by chance fell out of somebody's pack. Um, Catherine sang a psalm for us. When you restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Our mouth was filled with laughter, hi Catherine, and our tongue with shouts of joy. But I don't know if you noticed this, Catherine's song was in a minor key. It's sort of a sad song, praying for restoration again, but also confessing, you have fed us when we were hungry. <coughs> How do we learn to say hallelujah? There's a clue in the gospel which tells us about the things that we seek. Famous passage. Why do you seek for food? Why do you ask, what will I eat? What will I wear? Uh, you, the Lord knows you need these things, but seek what instead? Seek first the kingdom of heaven, and all these other things will be added. There's, we can think of Jesus the adventurer, if you like. Hebrews calls Jesus the captain of our salvation. Uh, Timothy says, called to Timothy, there's one God and one mediator, one person who goes in between, goes on adventures that we cannot go on. I don't think I'll probably ever go to the South Pole, but in theory, I could. I cannot go to the gates of hell and knock them down. So Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, goes to the cross, comes and gives us steps, if you like, that we need very much. So here's a cliff bar for you in the form of bread and wine. Think on the things that you eat and think of them as gifts from God. Would you please rise and join the singing of our offertory hymn.
it's on page 74. Blessed be thou, thou, Lord God of Israel, forever and ever. All that is in the heaven and the earth is thine. All things come of thee, and of thine own have we given. 